All right, so I've got just a little bit of a reveal. I originally uh, had the video going for this, but for some reason my camera shut it off, so not sure exactly what happened. So I had all these blanks inside my pressure pot just like this. So um, had a bottle of uh, Alumalite Clear Slow that I had to just use up because it was like right on the verge of expiring. And so I cast it up. The stuff was really thick. It was kind of hard to pour. You can see I've got all this spill out over here on the side. And I usually never have spill out. I always feel it real exact. But because it was so thick, it kind of blopped out instead of actually pouring. But what I was trying to do is I want to make some galaxy blanks, some nebula blanks. And so I have a mixture here. Oh, half of it was this uh, blue, purple, red from Solar Color Dust. And then another half was clear with just some some pearlescent powder. And then there was another one with black. And I put this hollow flake in all three of them. So let's just go ahead and get these apart here and see how they turned out. You can see here again where I had spilled over the edges and too much, had too much in there. Um, and they filled them up all the way and then they compressed and sunk down in. But because I had these resting right on top, they kind of stuck there. So let's get these revealed. Oh, that looks pretty wicked. Pretty happy with how that turned out. Let's get these out of here. This is a brand new mold that I just made and it casts three blanks. One three quarter by three quarter by five inch long and then two five eighths by five eighths by an inch long. That looks pretty neat. I don't know if you can see all the detail that's in that, but that looks pretty neat. So I did this in two two different pours, the three quarter by three quarter, which is this one. I did a uh, a pour initially of just the the blue purple red, then I did a layer of black then the clear pearl and then another layer of blue purple red and I did that for both the three quarter and the five eighths that were next to each other and then the last one the first pour I did was the black and then I did a layer of the white or the, the clear with just the pearl and the hollow flakes and then the blue purple red after that just to see what different effect I got between the two you can see some of the hollow flakes there in the black. You can't actually see them when they're near the surface. That black sure is a, it's a deep black. Pretty happy with those. They didn't quite, because the resin was so thick, I, I tried to mix them a little bit. And I got, I got a little bit of mixing, but not a whole lot. You can kind of see there where I did a couple of swipes. So those should show up. Because that black, like I said, it's in the middle layer. So the fact that you can see it there, that is going to be some dips in there. So that will show up in the pen blank. Or in the pen turning when I turn it. But you, look at the hollow flakes throughout that casting. That's Those are sure pretty. Those are sure going to turn out nice. Alright, now on to the bottle stoppers.
Oh, it's got a little more behind it. These are fully hardened, so whapping them with a hammer doesn't do much to them. Oh, cool. You can see kind of a where the blue kind of mixed right through the center there, which means that's going to have a cool mixing effect. You see where it came through there? This one was, must have been the one, I did a, a, a dip pour, so I had a whole bunch of the resins left um, from, you know, doing single mixes, dump, one dump, and one dump. And so the last one, I took all of what I had left, put it all into one cup, the blue, purple, red, and then I dumped all of that into this one. And then this one was only a, like a quarter of the way full, or three quarters of the way full, so I scraped out the last bit of it, threw it in here real quick before I got into the pressure pot, because I was right at the time where I was going to turn. But this one, I think this is going to be the coolest one out of them all. It's got really good mixing lines. I'm going to have to try this dunk pour method more. I think they call it a flip pour method, because that just turned out fantastic. That's got a lot of cool mixing lines, goes down through. The black is kind of randomly dispersed throughout it. I think this is going to be the neatest one by far. Sweet. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me out in the shop. This is just a real quick, just, you know, something that I'm doing out here, an experiment that I've got going on. So I'm going to get to uh, putting all this stuff back together. I'm going to let these sit and harden up for a few days. Be sure to check out more of my videos. I'll have a subscribe button here in the center for you. Videos on the sides. Thank you so much for joining me out in the shop. Suits Crafting, signing out.